And hello, people. In the last part, I ended it off on the cliffhanger where we were just about to fight Iggy. So here we go. Let's fight Iggy. Well, this is only the third part of this world, and I'm on the boss. Right? So world five really didn't take that long. World three has been the longest world so far, probably because that world is freaking annoying. I think world three should have been world four. Yeah, World 4 should have been World 3, this should have been World 4, and World 3 should have been World 5, because really, World 3 is harder than World 4 and 5. I wouldn't say it's harder than 6, though. I'd say it's about the same difficulty as 6. Ice levels are hard, people. Oh, we're gonna get back here. But yeah, yeah, this... I, I've just gone through this without even mentioning the course of this boss. I actually feel annoyed. The commentary on that boss was pretty bad then because I didn't even mention the awesomeness of that boss because I was too busy talking about something else. And a donut platform goes down as soon as Mario gets the key. Well, whatever. I forgot to talk about that boss, actually, but it's a thing lots of Let's Players have where they end up just rambling about something too long, but what they were intending to talk about next just happens all too quickly. Anyway, that is the a really awesome boss, one of my favourite bosses of the Chain Chomp there. And the Chain Chomp boss is, I think, it's what, it's definitely one of the cooler bosses in the game. Uh, as you can see there, I was chasing Iggy around and then you, and then the Chain Chomp just keeps going around this constant circle. When you hit him twice, the Chain Chomp moves a lot fast. Whatever, that's, there we go, I've mentioned the boss. That was some pretty bad commentary, I'm sorry. Anyway, here we have some guys from Super Mario Bros. 3. If anyone remembers these guys, they were green and they chucked their spiky balls to left and right, not downwards, but in this game they chucked them downwards. And they're blue now. But yeah, if you pretty cool enemies in Super Mario Bros. 3. I don't remember their exact names. Ha, <laughs> I just own that. Cooper. One thing I seem to notice is there seems to be a lot less Coopers in the later worlds. I mean, there's, I think there's several Coopers in World 6, but World 7 and 8 is surprisingly Cooperless. Because World 8, you wouldn't get standard enemies, because that's like the last world. Well, besides World 9, but the less about World 9, the better. Trust me, that world is freaking difficult. Oh my god, I was having lots of fun in uh, World 9. Uh, I actually, I'm gonna have a quick attempt to get in that star coin, but like other parts, I'm just gonna not try for very long because I don't want to bore you with my fails to get star coins. Yeah, in fact, screw it. Especially since I'm actually taking many hits and this is very annoying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Almost died then. And that bullet bill is still there. Well, I'll let that bullet bill pass. I refuse to die now. You know, just play, playing it safe, playing it safe. That's what we should all do. You know. Don't have sex till you're 16, don't drink. In fact, no, just drink whatever. In the UK, in, now I know in the US, this is a pretty weird thing to talk about. Actually, oh, no. cut it, cut it. I'll continue my ramble in a second. Are you kidding me? I was taking about to start the level. Is th does that mean there isn't a checkpoint on this level? Or was I not even at the checkpoint? Really? Seriously? Whatever, see you in a second. Which will be a very long second for me and a very short one for you. Alright, and I'm back. And trust me, that was probably the longest second of my life. Whatever. Uh, yeah. I remember I was talking about... In the US, I... Please correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that it's illegal to drink alcohol at all until you're 16 or 18, but in the UK, you just can't buy it until you're 18, I think. So you're allowed to drink it in your house legally. So, uh, just proving that I know the laws of every country, you know. Whatever, that's the stupidest thing to talk about. I need to stay on top of the game. Anyway, yeah, the checkpoint was quite late on, actually. This level was longer than I remembered it being. Of course, the levels actually do get a lot longer now. From what I remember, the World 6 levels are a lot longer than... No, I got the... Oh, are you kidding me? It faded out just as I jumped into it. Yeah, the World 6 levels are actually decently sized. I mean, 
Super Mario Bros. Freeze levels were very short. I mean, those those levels, if you're a speedrunner, they could end in less than 30 seconds. But this game's levels are longer, and I really love the speedruns that the Nintendo the people at Nintendo do for those hint movies. You know, using the mini mushroom. The mini mushroom is a speedrunner's tool, pretty much. It's not used that much throughout the game, but it as a speedrun tool, it's great. Uh, someone I know, one of my friends, uh, Mint301, I think I mentioned him in a previous part, he did a speedrun of World 1 getting all the star coins, so I think you should check that out. He's, pr he's pretty, pretty impressive, he's pretty good at this game. He's better than I am at this game, I can tell you that much. Well, he's got all the star coins now, so, well done to Mint301 for that. All the star coins in this game, it's a feat I will aim to do. Now, should I go left or right? Now, left, I believe there's a Yoshi level. Not this level, but the level after this level, so I will have to go check that out. Of course, I've already done it before, but, you know, Yoshi levels must be recorded. And what's up here? I forgot. Just some coins, is that it? Well, nothing spectacular, but, you know, we can cope with that. Oh, this level. Now, if I remember correctly, I got a lot of fails on this level the first time I did it. Got these spinies dropping from the roof and fun stuff like that. And they just cancelled each other out there. So LOL they owned. And whoa. Okay, I don't know why I said that. It's not exactly fret. Yeah, it is when you've got some big fat from there. Just do an easy jump, really. Not as intimidating as it first appears. Now, I just saw something that I've got to check out. Okay, what's through her? Just kill the piranha plant, I guess. Dark and. Oh, right, it's just dark one. Meme. Does anyone remember in Super Mario Bros. 1 and Super Mario Bros. 2 Japanese version, aka Lost Levels? You couldn't move backwards, you could, the screen wouldn't scroll backwards, and there was a code in the DS game that unlocked a mode that was like that, where, the sc where you couldn't make the screen scroll backwards. So you couldn't go backwards at all, really. And I'm going to wall jump into that and fail. Take a hit and don't even get the one up, you know, that's just how awesome I am. Star coin up there, but I already have it, so screw you. And that's. Oh my god, are you kidding me? I was right by the freaking checkpoint. <coughs> Be right back. Oh, I actually got the checkpoint already, so never mind that then. Well, I knew I'd get a fail on this level. Seems the checkpoint was completely oblivious to me. Whatevs. Why am I saying whatevs a lot lately? I don't know. Well, let's continue with Tell Level. And I think after I can beat this level, I'll end off this part, take a hit. You know, that's that's cool, that's cool. Oh, wait, no, it isn't. Epic, do the slide. What's the point in this question mark blocks in the middle of nowhere that just give you a coin? I mean, seriously? Fail. That's all this is. This level is just fail. Great. Lots of bats. And I actually hate bats because they fly to as low to the level that you're on. No, star! Yes! And I think this is changing stars together. No, it's not actually. What it was. Well, these bats are all going to die. Give me a 1 up. Thank you. Slide in. Whoa! Oh. Fail. Oh, shit! I went below it? Are you kidding me? Water! And sumo bro, screw that one, it's gonna run past. You know. Being the, um, very, very manly person that I am, I can just run right past them. Totally not like a person. Oh well. Whatever, I guess that'll be the end of this part. I kind of fell on the flagpole there. Next part, you've got a nice Yoshi level to look forward to, so I bet you can't wait for that. Yeah. 
Alright, see you then.